Great, thank you so much, Kevin. Hope everyone can hear me and honored to be on this panel. I always learn so much um, on all of our interventions around the world. And I, I really just wanna thank Danny and Kathy for their leadership. And I, I feel a little embarrassed to be on this panel with them because I, I have nowhere near, near the amount of activism on ending endless wars or their, their work across the world. But I just wanna say as a state Senator uh, in Massachusetts, uh, proud to be part of Mass Peace Action. I'm actually uh, outdoors in between rallies, uh, both uh, stop uh, Asian hate rallies and supporting uh, the Amazon workers in Alabama that are looking to organize. So I apologize for the informal setting. But uh, really just wanted to highlight, um, because the district I represent includes a military base, um, sort of the, the the remnants, if you will, the, the former Fort Devens was a major military base, was closed in 1996, but there is still a uh, army training base uh, in, in Devens. And I took the opportunity to took a, a tour of it, um, sort of at the height of Obama's escalating the Afghanistan war. And, you know, this was at a time when my constituents were really struggling, struggling as a result of the Great Recession. Um, and yet taking a tour of this base, uh, there were new facilities, there were new training grounds, uh, both um, for uh, soldiers going to Iraq and to Afghanistan. And it really highlighted to me how the military budget continues to flow endlessly uh, without any consideration for our domestic needs. And so as a state senator, um, certainly uh, raising that issue, uh, of course, right now at the state level, we have a major uh, deficit in our state budget. And so uh, as much as I appreciate the dollars coming from the American Rescue Plan, um, I know that it's still not going to be enough to meet the needs. And if we could just cut our military budget, um, imagine the improvements in uh, combating climate change, investing in transportation, combating poverty, investing in education uh, could happen. So I'm always trying to lift that up with my colleagues and advocate with our congressional delegation, whether our, our congressmen and women or our US senators. I do wanna highlight that there are opportunities at the state level. Um, I appreciate working with Mass Peace Action to support uh, and to file a bill that would divest uh, our state pension system uh, from, uh, from any companies that build or help create nuclear weapons. So uh, I think sometimes in Massachusetts, we forget that there are many companies uh, that uh, build uh, weapons of mass destruction, including nuclear weapons. And really this state divestment bill is an opportunity to take a stand on, on that and say that we should not be involved in supporting endless wars, whether going on right now in Afghanistan or Yemen, or uh, the bigger discussion around nuclear weapons and you know trying to move to a full moratorium on that. So thanks so much for having me. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm really honored to be on this panel and I really appreciate being invited by Cole to speak at this Mass Peace Action and Endless Wars Forum. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. We really appreciate and and wish we could all be there with you at the two rallies that you're at uh, as well today and that you were able to make time for us is fantastic. We really appreciate that.